Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sample platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sample platter videos, series of videos I've been doing for a while. Now, where I go over there and try food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink the stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious things. You can go over there and consume in a food and or drink variety or potentially food and drink variety, depending on what the items are. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to explain stuff about the things that I put in my mouth, and then it'll be a thing. While I'm doing so, I got a Peter Can Thunderbolt poster behind me. Got a hamster set up over there. You might see my little girl Shizuru run by. Crappy old ladders off to the side. Got some Marvel figures. And then on top of that, folks, hey, I'm wrapping a cool shirt. Boom! Got my Seven Days Lost shirt. I saw these guys uh, a couple weeks ago at the time I'm doing this. They were opening up for... Uh, Oh, Texas Hippie Coalition, they were touring with them. Excellent band. Highly recommend their stuff. Go see them live if you have the option. I think they're out of Colorado, I want to say. I could be wrong on that, but I think I'm right. Excellent, excellent band. Definitely look up their stuff. Do it! But you're not here for that. What are you here for, folks? You're here to know what I'm going to go over there and try for you and explain, right? Right. Well, folks. Boom! We've got... Water drop micro drinks. These are naturally flavored drink cubes. I've got four of them to try, and I'll do a boom for each one of them. Don't you, you better believe it. But yeah, these are basically like quasi, like they're geared as like healthy things that you can add to water, make it taste better without like there's zero sugar, low calorie, vitamin C, uh, thiamine, biotin. They they have different things that for each flavor. So. I think I got a Facebook ad for these, like, sometime in 2021. And they eventually showed up. It took me a little while to get around to them. Uh, I have, like, a big drawer full of stuff to review. And these just kept getting pushed to the back. And today, I finally decided to do them. So, now here's the funny thing, folks. I actually started doing this review a little while ago. Okay, like, maybe, like, ten minutes ago. But... So here's the thing, right? You push from the thing down. You got to be careful. You got to do it this way. Otherwise, they pop the hell out. They come in these little cubie things. No! Little cubie things. See? You go over there. You pull the thing. And then the cube comes out. You pop it in the water. Now, normally, I would do that for you. In fact, that's what I did in the previous video. But what I didn't realize is these things are basically like Alka-Seltzer tablets. They pop to the bottom, and then they fizz up, and it flavors the drink. It's a cool little effect. Here's a problem. It's not very, you know, like, time-sensitive. It, it takes a little bit to get going. So, it finally got to the point with the other ones where it was just like, this is taking too long, so I stopped the video. I did all four of them, popped it in. This one right here is the Zen, which is starfruit, lemongrass, and thyme. Okay. Uh, mind to stay serenity, natural flavor, fruit, and it's got a bunch of, like, kind of uppity, you know, packaging and stuff like that. For me, it's, like, I want this to taste good, and I'd also hope that, like, you know, there are, like, maybe it is, you know, better than, like, the general mix-in drink things. I've done a few of those in the past. Like Dad's Root Beer and, like, I think Starburst and stuff. Go watch those <clears throat> videos. So I'm hoping that, you know, this is a better alternative. Uh, it's not better in terms of time, because it takes a little while for the thing to dissolve. But hopefully it'll taste good and it'll be good. But, as with anything, whenever I do any of these, like, quote-unquote, healthy things, please do your own research. I'm not a doctor. I'm a guy who wears a Seven Days Lost t-shirt. Not to say a doctor couldn't. That'd be a pretty snazzy doctor, I'm just saying. But, I'm just a dude. So, we're going to try this one first. Like I said, this is Zen, Starfruit, Lemongrass, and Thyme. It's a very light smell. Generally, when you mix stuff into these, you know, with other things, it'll... Yeah. All right. Okay. It's a very... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a very light taste, too. Like... 
given how long it took for... I, like, I was at one point just going to do of, like, half the cube dissolved for time's sake. I'm really glad I didn't because it's a very, very light flavor. Um, hmm. It has a very mild fruitiness. Very, very mild. Um, I mean, I know it's, you know, no sugar and everything like that. So it's not particularly sweet or anything. Mostly what I would say you can taste is kind of the lemongrass. Uh, which has like a very light sort of sour, almost kind of bitter taste to it to an extent. And then like I guess there is a sort of a little bit of like a fragrancy kind of thyme taste to it. The star fruit, was it? <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's in there to some extent. I'm sure that's what's kind of keeping it from being like overly sour or bitter. Um, it's very, very light though. It's mostly the other things. Um, okay. I mean, <clears throat> it's not an unpleasant drink. And I can definitely see what they're going for with it. Like this compared to, again, like a... Uh, like a standard, you know, mix-in thing, um, even something like a Crystal Light, uh, or, you know, whatever, this is, like I said, this is a much, much lighter flavor. It's much less, you know, it's not a heavy flavor, it doesn't drink heavy, it has a nice refreshing aspect to it, and it's got enough flavor for you to know that it's there, but again, not enough to be like a super prominent aspect of it. Okay, it's different than I was expecting, but not... It's different than I was expecting, but in going with the packaging and going with the marketing of this, I'm actually not surprised that it tastes the way that it does. Um, I, I just, you know, I would have expected something maybe a little bit sweeter or something. But I can get it, because they're going for like the healthy, you know, drink additive thing. So, eh, like, uh, whether or not it is or not, I don't know, but at least in terms of what it tastes like, it doesn't taste like a sugary, uh, you know, a sugary mix-in drink. But by the same token, like, you're, it's not so light that you feel like you're just drinking water. You know, it's, it's there. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I don't think it would be like a... I don't think it would be, like, my go-to preferred drink. I think I probably would prefer something a little bit sweeter. But as I'm trying to veer off of, like, the sweet drinks and stuff, for the most part, I mean, I'm still going to have, you know, occasional sodas and stuff. In fact, I got a number of things that I'm planning for videos. Uh, but I can get behind this. Like, as something, especially, like, if I wanted something... <laughs> the only thing that hurts this is the, the dissolving time of the thing. If it had just been, like, a, a packet thing, I think that would have made more sense. Um, but, like, just as something, like, if I wanted uh, something, like, at night or something like that, like, you know, just a, a quick little thing, I could see this being good. i just have to do it in advance and then, like, put it in the fridge. All right, well, that one was zen. So, let's move on to the next one. This one is Glow. And it is mango, cactus fruit, and artichoke. I mean, I, I like mango. I've had cactus fruit. It's kind of like a strawberry. Artichoke? They seem to... It's like, okay, we got, we got like one thing that's like a good tasting thing. Then we got another thing that's pretty good. And then we got one thing that's like a food. What does this one have going for it? Uh, sugar-free vitamin C, vitamin E, and thiamine. So, all right. Ooh, this one's much more fragrant. This one has a nice, like, fruity smell to it. So, that makes me hopeful. Maybe Zen, which is kind of the lightweight one. Okay, I can, you know what, I can go with this one. Um, it does have a decent mango flavor to it. 
Like, I've, I've had, like, mango, like, squirt drop things uh, before. This, it tastes like a lighter version of those. Like, if they had, like, a diet version of those, I would imagine that would be basically what this kind of tastes like. But then... I don't know how much I'm getting from the cactus fruit aspect of things. Although, I guess I could say that there's kind of, like, a little bit of... Again, like, if you've never had cactus fruit... It, to me, is very similar to kind of a strawberry in taste and everything. Um, it's a little bit different, but I, I could kind of see, like, it's sort of a mango thing, and I guess it kind of has, like, a, you know, again, cactus root twinge to it. Yeah. It, it kind of, at first, it's sort of a mix between the mango and then, like, the, the other flavors. And then the mango kind of takes over, then it kind of falls back, and it becomes sort of like an earthy flavor, which I guess is sort of the artichoke. Okay. I'm not thrilled with the aftertaste, so I don't hate it. It's just not how I'd like to finish it, because it doesn't, the earthy aspect of it doesn't feel, ref like, particularly refreshing to me. I would have preferred more of the citrusy aspect of it. Uh... But again, it's not bad. It does have a heavier flavor than the other one. But that's also kind of good and bad, as I'm drinking more of it. The The other one was so light that, like, I mean, you could really just kind of go with it. With this, the flavors that I'm not a big fan of, as time has gone by, they're becoming a little bit more, you know, uh, prominent on my palette and yeah I don't know how much I'm a big fan of that yeah it's uh, it's not bad like I after the initial drink like I really figured like you know this one I was going to be uh way ahead of the other one I like that it has more flavor but again I just I'm not big on the ending of it the beginning's okay, but I'm, like, not the biggest mango guy in the world, so, you know, I like it, and this is a very limited mango flavor, so it's not too bad. It is a very light flavored drink as well, but it's definitely much heavier than, uh, the other one. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Let's try with the next ones. Which one are you? Boost. This is the Black Currant Elderflower and Acai. Okay. Isn't black currant like kind of like a British thing or something? Is it like some sort of a berry? I don't think we have it here, or maybe if we do, it's like another thing. I've had elderflower stuff. I think I had like an elderflower lemonade or some shit. I'd go watch that video. Uh, it's got B6 and B12. I'm getting all kinds of vitamins today. Let's try a thing. And this one, it's got. The fragrance is kind of somewhere between the last two. Like, it's it's there, but it's not super strong. It's floral, which I've had floral drinks before, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. No. No. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> um... Boy, oh boy. I don't know that I've ever had black currant before, so I don't know exactly what role that has to play in it um but there's a floral aspect of it and the thing with floral drinks is like boy oh boy do you really have to use those in moderation this unfortunately like it has a decent amount of flavor but i don't know that it's a good thing in this case no it's like kind of bitter and sour it's not, like, tart sour, though. It's mostly just, like, bitter and then kind of the ass end of bitter, if you know what I mean. I'm not a fan of this one at all. This is really... If... If it had some sweetness to it to counteract it, I could see enjoying this, because it would then it would be like a floral lemonade. 
but as is, it's just, it's too, it's too bitter and too tart. Like, I don't, if you're into, you know, sort of floral kind of, you know, bitter drinks, I mean, I guess that's a jam that you can go with. But for myself personally, I need something to offset that flavor. Like, if it started with that and then, like, and mind you, I'm not a flavor scientist or what the hell ever, I almost would say maybe if you added some mint, maybe that would have offset this and kind of like taken away some of the bitterness, kind of brought it back to like a refreshing point. Um, but it needs something to counteract that. Like, I, I'm not a fan of this one. Yeah. No. I can't even say, like... Like, it doesn't have much of an aftertaste, which is good, but it's just... It's not good. Yeah. Nah, this is... Yeah, this isn't one that I would go back to, personally. Alright. Last one. Which one are you? This one is Youth. This one is peach, ginger, ginseng, and aloe vera. It's got riboflavin. Is that a thing that you want to... I, yeah, I don't know enough about stuff to be like, burr, 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 in neosin. I don't know, so. Let's try a thing. This one sounds like it'll be good. So. Ugh. Yeah, they, they, they've all gone down since the first one so far. <laughs> got a decent scent to it it's probably about on par with uh, the the last one i just had in terms of like scent wise all right yeah i like it better than the last one but Yeah, I don't know, man. It's got a pretty decent peachy flavor to it. But it, the problem is, again, is like you're getting the peach flavor, but you're not getting any of the sweetness of the peach. And so like you just... I don't know how much ginger I'm getting, really. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Kind of after the, the peach hit, you get something of a ginger flavor, but it's not at all like you would expect. It, it's very, very light. It's there, but again, like, the fundamental issue with pretty much all of these, with the exception of the first one, which was so light in flavor that I could kind of get away with it, is that it's like they're, you know, they have like these botanical aspects and peach and all this stuff and everything. And while that's fine, like, the problem is if you don't have something to offset that, you know, like a sweetness, like, you know, something to work with. Like, these flavors by themselves, to me, are not typically very appealing just by themselves. Like, you kind of need that, that offset. That's why typically drinks have that aspect to them. Um, if you've ever been to, like, a, like a Whole Foods or, you know, one of those places where, like, they have their own, like, smoothie bars and shit, right? If you go and get one of, like, their healthy smoothies, it's kind of like that, where it's, like, the ingredients sound nice, but the problem is, is that, like, because, you know, they're meant to be, like, healthy and stuff, they don't have, like, sugar or anything, and so it just ends up tasting, you know, not that good. And that's kind of what's the case with these, which is sad, because, like, I have a shitload of these things. Um, and I was really hopeful, like, I was like, well, you know, they're, they're good, yeah, I can go over there, and, you know, put them in the drinks, and I'll drink them, and they'll do things. But it's like, the first one, because it was so light in flavor, is the least offensive. It's the one that I could go with the most. All of the other ones have more flavor, but that works against them, because, you know, like in the case with the freaking Boost... Uh, that one just tastes nasty. The other two are okay-ish, but it's like, I don't know that I would want, like, a whole thing of it. Like, and then, then that begs the question, what I, what would I want it for? I, I mean, I guess it's the argument could be made that, you know, it's just like, oh, you know, it's my palate and everything, you know, because I'm so used to all this stuff. Yeah, that's probably part of it, but, like, another part of it is, like, you know, we, 
we like the flavors that we like because, you know, they're good flavors. In this case, it's like, I don't think you'd want to just, like, gather this stuff up and eat it. Like, it just... Eh, I'm not super, eh, unfortunately. So, yeah, I mean... Would I recommend them? No. <laughs> but I guess it depends on who you are and what you're looking for. In my case, I'm not the person, typically, that these things are going to be marketed towards. Um, they're something that I decided to give a try because I was like, sure, I like trying new things. Uh, unfortunately, in my case with these, it just, it doesn't really work that well. I, I think I'm too far off the target audience. But <clears throat> if you're somebody who's already, like, you know, health food minded, um, and, you know, I don't know if these things are, like, vegan or what the hell ever. Again, do your own research and stuff. Um, yeah, okay. Uh... You know, if you're already of that mindset, then these might work perfectly for you. I just, for me, they're such a weird thing because it's like, I can't imagine that most people would just try these just for the hell of it. Uh, again, it you know works in my case because this format, because I'm, you know, I'm just trying new stuff. Uh, but for most people, like, I, yeah, I just... I think if you're already of the market for this, you're probably already aware of it. You're probably already, you know, enjoying it or whatever. If you're not, though, I don't even know where you would buy this stuff except for, like, you know, on their website. In which case, I, I couldn't really recommend ordering any. Like, yeah, it's just... You get quite a bit of them, and then, at least for me personally, it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Uh, some of them I'll, I'll go through for sure. The other ones, I'm, well, maybe I'll give them, like, one of my friend's moms or something like that that's, like, into all this stuff. Maybe they'll take to it better than I did. So, anyway, this has been a long video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bail. Uh, five things before I do, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. You can go over there and have yourselves a, a <laughs> zen rest of your life because this was the best one out of the four. And you know, well, I'll... I'll I'll rank them real quick while I'm doing this. Zen is the best one for me personally. Then I would probably go with Glow, which was the mango one. Then I would probably go with Youth, which was the peach one. And then, like, way in dead last is Boost, because that one was just fucking nasty. So, um, what else, what else was... Oh, yeah, final two things for me, folks, before I get out of here. Number one, have a... <laughs> try to bring some positive in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciate, even if it doesn't always feel like it sometimes. But if you do, if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? You know, you're not gonna succeed all the time. It's not gonna happen. But try not to. Okay? Mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe your thing is like you're into this kind of stuff and you're going to go over there and get some for yourself and you're going to be like, brr, that fat guy on the internet doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey, folks, I'm not claiming to be an expert or anything like that. Just a fat guy wearing a Seven Days Lost t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd prefer it if you didn't do that, you know, but like, you know, I'd like do something more productive, like plant a tree or something. Bye.